and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. And today, because it's my birthday, it's not my birthday, it's not been my birthday for a long time, I've dragged it out though. Um, because it's, this is about my birthday, I thought I'd wear a nice sparkly birthday top. Birthday, birthday, I love this top, but I'll be honest, it's itchy. It's itchy, 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 and I've only put it on for this video, so we're going to fly through these books so I can get it back off. Um, but I got so many amazing bookish things for my birthday, and I've got um, a lot of them here. I've got um, a lot of... Oh, this top is just so sparkly. Da, 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 da. Um, and I've also included some stationary bits in here, because I figured if you like books like me, then you like stationary like me. Um, so I'll start with the books that all my booktube pals got me, because booktube is a wonderful community, and... Just, it was just so lovely to receive gifts from people from Booktube who I wasn't expecting to receive gifts from and I'm just absolutely delighted. So I'll start with the very lovely and very wonderful Amy Jane Smith, who I adore. Um, she bought me a short story collection called How Much the Heart Can Hold, um, Seven Stories on Love. And there's some names here of people I recognise, for example, Karis Bray, uh, Donald Ryan, Nick Shukla, I recognise his name as well. And she said that she has been reading this and absolutely loving it. I cannot wait to read it and it's just such a beautiful cover. It's just amazing. I think she got it out from the library and said that she just loved it and she had to buy it for me. So I'm not gonna argue with that, Amy. Thank you very much. Um, that, oh God, it's so hard because I just want to read everything in January. <laughs> um, but this is very, very exciting and I cannot wait to read them at all. So I'm gonna put them all up. No, I'm not gonna put them up. I'm gonna put them down here beautifully. So the next book is from the wonderful and marvellous Jen from the channel Jen Campbell. I'll link everyone's channels down below, by the way. This is just, just so everyone can go and look at how wonderful they all are. She got me My Sister Lives on the Mantelpiece by Annabelle Pitcher, which is something that I'd never heard of before, but it sounds like I'm going to love it. Ten-year-old Jamie hasn't cried since it happened. Jasmine cried, Mum cried, Dad still cries, Roger didn't, but then he's just a cat and didn't really know Rose that well, really. Five years on, it's worse than ever. Dad drinks, Mum's gone, and Jamie's left with questions that he must answer for himself. Um, she was very nervous that I had this myself. Oh, look, she's put a little... She's such a babe. Um, she was very nervous that I had this um, already, but I hadn't, and I hadn't even heard of it, so I, I just... I feel very looking forward to... I feel, I feel very looking forward to it. I cannot wait to read it, and just thank you, Jen, for that. The next two books are from the wonderful Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books. This book actually appeared in my uh, Books Beginning With Christmas video, which I put up yesterday. That is Relish by uh, Relish, My Life in the Kitchen by Lucy Nisley. I am pumped for this, and I think this is going to be the first book that I read in 2017. So Lucy Nisley writes about food. I love anything to do with food. Fi I love food fiction. I love um, graphic novels to do with food, which you don't often see. And that is exactly what this is. It's a graphic novel to do with food and about Lucy Nisley's life in the kitchen. I am very, very excited about this. And every time I open it, I open it to say, for instance, how to make carbonara told via the means of a graphic novel. That's got Lauren written all over it. The next book is, uh, that I got from Eleanor is The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus by L. Frank Baum. So it's a funny story for this because I, um, I, I saw this um, in, a, in Waterstone somewhere, maybe in Blue Water. I saw this in Blue Water Waterstones and was like, oh, I must remember to buy that. Didn't take a photo of it and then couldn't remember who had written it or what it was called. All I could remember was this front cover. So every time I went into a shop, I was like, oh, I've seen this front cover. It's got a Robin with a Santa Claus hat on standing on a twig, which has got sparkly berries. And I couldn't remember who had written it and I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so when I got this as a gift, I was so delighted. So this has wonderfully been, been able to be added straight to my December TBR. Um, and I'm going to be reading this soon. And it's... Um, it looks like it's three separate stories told throughout uh, Santa Claus's life and it's um, illustrated throughout. So very, very excited about that. Thank you very much, Eleanor. The two books, also a Christmas book, the next two books are from the wonderful Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Museums. You may have heard me open this live on our um, on, on our podcast. We were, we were doing our Christmas podcast and that her parcel had arrived that morning and I was like, I'm going to open this now. So I opened it live on the podcast. So the first one is Christmas Stories, the Everyman's Pocket Classic Edition. Um, I am um, over halfway through this now and I'm absolutely loving it. There's some hilarious stories in here. There's some really good authors in here. One that I'd read before was Charles Dickens, the first one. Um, my favourite story so far has been um, Christmas at Thompson Hall by Anthony Trollope um, and it tells the story of a, a man and a woman who are in Paris on their way back to the UK and um, he's got a really sore throat and he begs her to go down to the, um, to the restaurant to pick up um, 
some mustard to put on his throat. So she gets down there and the night porter finds her and she's too embarrassed to tell him what she's doing. So he brings her back upstairs to the, uh, her room and then she escapes back down, gets the thing, then rushes back to the room and then applies the mustard to what she thinks is her husband's throat. It's not her husband. She's broken into somebody else's room. And it's just so funny and I really, really loved it and I'm just loving every single one of these. Um, and then the next book she got me was Foreign Soil by Maxine Benaber clark And I remember her doing a review on this and they're all really short stories. So short stories, um, really short stories are my favourite type of short stories. So I feel very, very excited about it and that front cover is just amazing. Space time! And then lastly, the last two books that I got from my booktuber pals are from Aoife over at the channel Fred Weasley Died Laughing. And this was just so wonderful to get these. I feel very, very excited. This is the one that I haven't heard of, Not Forgetting the Whale by John Ironmonger. Um, Aoife told me that both these books are ones that she read and really stayed with her. Um, so this is about a, a young man that washes up on the sa sands of St Pir Piran in Cornwall and he's rescued by the villagers. Um, so that feels very exciting. And then this one is something that I've been thinking about reading for a very long time. Um, this is The Museum of Extraordinary Things by Alice Hoffman. Um, and I just feel very excited that I get to read this. And I was, I was thinking about reading it for such a long time and then it just appeared and Eva had bought it for me. So thank you very much for those, Eva. So those are the books from my lovely booktube pals. So the next few bits are books that have been bought for me by oh, people in my wonderful real life. The, uh, the first lot the first three are from my sister. So my sister bought me Treasure Island and The Ebb Tide by Robert Louis Stevenson. I've never read this. Um, she always bought me a cloth bound classic for Christmas, but she says she prefers these now. So she's gonna buy me these and I really love these. This is the first uh, Penguish English Library edition um, of a book that I've got. So I feel very excited about collecting these, although I've dented that one already, but this is very, very nice. Edition. She also bought me this um, bookmark that cost her seven pounds and she's mortified that it cost her seven pounds. <laughs> seven pounds. Um, the next two are the, um, the Ladybird books. They brought out this hilarious range of little books. This one's about the cat and this one's about the zombie apocalypse. She knows me well, I love her. I love Minnie and I love The Walking Dead. So these two have ticked all the boxes. I'm looking forward to just having a little look through those because um, I think they're gonna be really funny. Then my best pal Emma bought me um, this, the cloth band classic of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen that I don't own, which is beautiful. But not only that, she said, have a look inside. My dearest Lauren, wishing you a very happy 30th birthday with lots of love, Emma. Only a ticket to go and see Pride and Prejudice at the Marlowe Theatre in Canterbury. Very, very excited about that. Emma will be going with me, so cannot wait to go and see that, and I will definitely do a review on that, and I'm gonna read this around the time that I go and see it, so it's fresh in the old mind. Um, David's sister Kelly bought me The Tales of Beedle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. I was very pleased to receive this, as I the only the copy I used to have, which I don't know where it is, was a bashed up uh, paperback. This is a very nice hardback copy, and I think it's nice to familiarise yourself with these bits that happen in Harry Potter every so often, so thank you very much for that, Kelly. And then um, Daniela, one of my friends from work, bought me The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Um, she is the lady who wrote the Twilight series, and um, I'm not really sure much I've heard about this. I will read the back. It says, she wasn't going to let them win. There was no way she would give them such an easy resolution to their problem. They would probably get her in the end, but they were going to have to work for it, damn them, and they would bleed for it too. Ooh, sounds a bit sproggy. And then lastly, I've just got a few stationary bits that I also received. Uh, and a few, not stationary, but stationary and other bookish bits. So my sister bought me these lovely little paper clips uh, that have got L on them from um, Etsy. Not from Etsy, from uh, not on the high street. She also got me the Roald Dolls Marvelous Colouring Book Adventure, um, which has got lots of different patterns in here and things to do with uh, Roald Dahl books. I was going to say Charlie and Chocolate Factory books, but it's not. SEO Trot and things like that. Very nice little pictures in there. Looking forward to getting to that. My friend Laurel bought me Harry Potter tea towels. Harry Potter tea towels, they're amazing. I believe they're from Primark actually, which is a complete bargain, but they're lovely, lovely. And she also got me the film of The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, which has got Maggie Smith in it. I read The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie earlier this year and said I enjoyed it and would really, really like to see the film as I love Maggie Smith. So she bought me that. So I'm gonna be snuggling down with that one day, not when David's around, because he won't be able to sit through this, but that is what I will be doing. And then two last stationary bits are both from my sister. Um, it's a decomposition notebook, which I absolutely love. I believe I first saw these when I was in Edinburgh with Jean and Brittany, we were in, um, Blackwells, is that the name of the big bookshop in Edinburgh? I think it was. And I saw these in there and I'm like, these are amazing. I bought one for David for his birthday. Um, and they're just lovely. They're um, recycled notebooks which have got thin lines, which I never find thin lines anywhere. And this one's got a honeycomb print on the front, but they've got loads and loads of different ones, which are amazing. And then lastly, my sister bought me this from the Zoella range. She designed a life she loved with all these beautiful post-its and a, a week planner. She knows how much I love a planner. And I believe she wants this for Christmas herself as well. So maybe if she's a good girl, she might get it. So those were my bookish gifts that I got for my birthday this year. I had such a wonderful birthday this year, turning 30 is 
ace. Um, so I had such a lovely time and I will see you all again soon for another booktube video.